Hi, this is Rachel, and we're looking at solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So this up here is our quadratic formula. So it's quite a big formula, but it's a useful one because it allows us to solve quadratic equations that we cannot factorise. So as we learned in another video, in order to solve quadratic equations, the easiest way is to factorise, but with this one, we can't do that. So we need a different way of doing it, and it's using the quadratic formula. So let's have a look at what we've got. 2x squared plus 6x minus 95 equals zero. So it's worth bearing in mind that all quadratic equations follow a similar format that looks like a x squared plus bx minus c equals zero. So we can identify values for a, b and c using this knowledge. And as you may have already spotted, the quadratic equation, the quadratic formula has a's, b's and c's in it. So we are just looking at what the numbers are before the x squared, the x and the number on its own. So a x squared, a is 2, as we can see. For bx, b is 6. And for c, oops, sorry, that, is, that should be a plus. For c, c is minus 95. So make sure that you're including any negatives if they are present. Okay, and I can now plug these a, b's and c's into this formula here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my b, so b is 6, so minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is minus 95, all over 2 times a, so 2 times 2. There we go. So we've got a really ugly looking equation, but we're going to simplify this now. So as you can see, what I have done is I have just rewritten out the quadratic formula, replacing each of the letters with its number. So that's why I found A, B and C, and I always write these out when I'm solving um, quadratic equations using the formula. Okay, so now let's tidy this up a bit. So I've got my minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared, it's 36, minus, and I'm not going to try and do this in my head, so I'm going to grab my calculator and go 4 times 2 times minus 95. And that gives me minus 760. So it is minus this calculation, which is minus 760. So you'll notice I've got two minuses next to each other there. And that is all over 2 times 2, which is 4. There we go. So now I'm going to do what's under this bracket, which is 36 take away minus 760. And that is 796. So you'll notice that it's become positive. And this is important because if the number that you're trying to square root is negative, well, you can't square root a negative number at this level. So you'll know you've done something wrong. So now I have simplified this to something that looks like that. So I have done my 36 minus minus 760 under the square root. 
and I can now use this let me just move this a bit I can now use this uh, there's not really a convenient place to put that oh there we go let's put it over there <laughs> I can now use this to calculate my values of x now remember it's a quadratic equation that means there are two values of x so the way we do it is you'll notice that there is a plus or minus sign here that means I have two calculations to do one where that is a plus and one where it is a minus so my two calculations are minus 6 plus the square root of 796 divided by 4 and minus 6 minus the square root of 796 divided by 4 okay so let me pop these into my calculator so we've got minus 6 plus the square root of 796 divided by 4 and that gives me 5.55 I've rounded it so that's the first one and that is one of my x's and my other so I've got minus 6 minus the square root of 796 which is that divided by 4 and make sure you're always doing everything on the top before dividing because that division is everything so you need to be careful where that line is where it goes up to but anyway divide by 4 and that gives me minus 8.55 that's my other value of x so that is how we use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations